Meanwhile, Russian troops continue to enter further into Ukraine. A curfew has been declared in Kiev. Thousands in the capital city have been forced to flee their homes. They are camping at bomb shelters. With a war waging on at home, the Ukrainians from around the world are denouncing Russia's actions. Multiple rallies have been held against Moscow's military attack. Hundreds of people took to the streets in Germany to protest against Russian military action in Ukraine. The protesters gathered in front of the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin while they waved banners and Ukrainian flags and called on countries to stand with Ukraine. This invasion, it shows us that we, we need support from Europe, from the whole world. And uh, we try to stand by our own, but um, we need more people and more, more help and more support to, to, to stand in this war. Over 100 people gathered outside the Russian embassy in Stockholm. The emotional and agitated crowds held signs that read, Stop Putin's war and stop the bloody maniac, quote-unquote, while chanting slogans against the Russian military action. I'm Ukrainian and uh, my heart is, uh, is uh, broken because of the situation in my home country. While in France, some political leaders also joined the protests against the Russian invasion. The leaders included presidential candidates Yannick Jadot and Christian Taubera. The Ukrainian citizens in Paris held placards against Moscow and some even shouted, Putin dictator, get out of our country right now. Similar protests also took place in Lebanon. Dozens of Ukrainians, along with the Ukrainian envoy to Lebanon, gathered outside the Russian embassy in Beirut, condemning the Russian attacks. And while the crowds chanted slogans against Moscow, the Ukrainian envoy said that his country's citizens will fight for every meter of their soil. You know about very serious damages, you know about uh, our losses with civil population, but Ukraine will fight till the end. Ukraine is a very peaceful country, but now we will fight for every meter of Ukrainian territory. Today we are next to the Russian embassy. I don't know if we can still call it Russia because it's a dictatorship country. It's the renewal of Nazism in Europe. Today we are here to stand with our brothers and sisters in Ukraine to show them solidarity and once again to show the world and to show Russia that we are against the war. Now as protests are erupting around the world against Russia's attack on its neighbor Ukraine, Moscow has warned its citizens against taking part in any such rallies. Police have been deployed in the Russian capital to quash any such protest. Earlier today, the Russian police also detained an opposition activist who called for anti-war protests against Moscow's military invasion.